Okay, so sa previous na video is kinuha natin yung total hydrostatic force nito. So, what if uh, nagdagan ko siya. Ha? So, lagayin natin ito yung A. So, what if uh, determine uh, the location of hydrostatic force measured from uh, let's say from line 1 no? so ito yung line 1 ko man So, ito bali yung line 1 ko. Okay? So, saan yung location ng hydrostatic force? So, ito na yung, yung kinumpute natin. No? So, ngayon, kukunin natin kung saan yung location ng hydrostatic force na 2472.12. So, ito na lang yung kunin ko. Yung dito na part. Kasi ito na lang yung kailangan ko. Copy ka na lang yan. And then, uh, this is for B, location of hydrostatic force. Okay, so lakayan ko na lang to. Ayan, no? So, may kita natin na meron tayo dito mga force na mag-act. So, so, lagay ko na lang yung force. So, for figure 1, assume ko na lang na ito yan. And for figure 2, assume ko na lang na ito yan. For figure 2, assume ko na lang na ito yan. Ito naman yung sa F2, for F3, assume ko na lang na ito yan. For F4, assume ko na lang na ito yan. And then for F5, ito yan. So ngayon, kukunin natin yung uh, location ng every forces dito sa line 1. So ito yung line 1 natin. line 1 So kunin natin yung mga distance nito mm, Wait lang So ito yung line 1 So kunin natin yung location nito Patungo dito sa line 1, that is 2 uh, third lang ng ng 3. Okay, so we have 2. Next is yung ito. So yung location nito, patungo dito sa F2. Using ko lang So that is 3 plus uh, Kalahati nung 6 di ba? Yung total height nya So 6 divided by 2 or 3 So therefore we have 3 plus 3 or 6 Next is yung ito So yung location ng F3 uh, Measured from line 1 So we have uh, 3 plus two-third nung two-third nung three so therefore we have five okay and then yung F4 ito dito sa line one that is just uh, three plus three plus kalahati nung 3 
and that is uh, 67.5 and then lastly yung dito sa so F5 ito yan so that is mali ito ito ko na ilagay so pwede na yung 9 minus 1 third ah, kasi ito 1 third 1 third to nung height nya na 3 so minus 1 third nung 3 so therefore that is 9 minus 1 8 okay so pwede na natin gamitin yung yung formula ni Barig nun theorem so yung total force then yung location nya assume ko na lang na Z and then summation nung individual forces uh, individual location nila okay so yung total force is ito yan 247 2.12 so we have 2472.12 times yung Z is equivalent ng F1 so yung F1 natin 176.58 176.58 times yung location nya na 2 plus yung F2 so yung F2 natin is 706.32 706.32 times yung height niya na 6 ah, location niya na 6 and then yung F3 so we have 353.16 so 353.16 and then yung location ng F3 is 5 plus yung sa F4 uh, we have 706.32 706.32 Tiga lang F4 Pariyo sila na no? 706.32 And then yung location niya Yung F4 is 7.5 And then uh, Meron tayo ditong F5 So yung F5 is 529.74 So we have 529.74 Times yung location niya That is 8 So thus Makukuha na natin yung value ng Z Measured from line 1 so, Kapitin ko muna 2472.12 Alpha X Alpha X uh, 176.58 1 76.58 times 2 plus 706.32 times 6 plus 353.16 times 5 plus 706.32 times 7.5 plus 529.74 times 8. Shift solve. So, we have 6.43. So, 6.43 meter. So, yan yung sabang. So, ngayon pa-plot natin yan. Nasyong ko na lang na ito yung total force. 6.43. So, na, uh, dito siya punta. So, ito yung total uh, hydrostatic force. Yung location niya is at Z. Okay? So, ganun. So, I hope uh, klaro tayo dito for for hydrostatic force. Okay. So, see you in the next video. Thank you.